Before I start, just please excuse me because yesterday I was in a lot of pain and I was falling over my words. I'm getting really distracted and getting all tongue-tied. So uh, please excuse all the mistakes. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. Now, I probably look a little bit weird at the moment because I've just put on a load of the HD skin palette and I've kind of contoured and, you know, I've got a kind of yellow base on my eyes. But I wanted to try out the two powders that I've got from HD. Uh, first time I'm trying these. So I got the HD setting powder in the travel size, um, which goes obviously with this foundation. And it comes in this little little box and it's got a little, it's got quite a nice powder puff actually in there, which I haven't used yet, as you can see. And then I also wanted to try this finishing powder, which is called uh, Twister Night. And I got this in the shade Tan. So it's got that kind of peachy. Now you put that on after your setting powder. So without further ado, I'm just going to put all of this on and let's see what it looks like. Now this has got a little sprinkler system where you can just sprinkle some in the top of your lid like that. Now this also comes in different shades. I, I think there was only one shade available in the travel size but fortunately I thought that was my shade. I'm dropping everything today. So this is beige doré. So I'm just going to take this big fat um, powder brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to go in all over with the setting, uh, uh, the setting powder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture after both both items now I've got a little setting brush here so I'm going to put a little bit more in here and just set under my eyes then I'm going to take a photo and then we'll move on to the finishing powder now finishing powder is different to setting powder it's supposed to leave your skin with a bit of a glow now hopefully now you'll see that this is kind of evened out some of those products that I've just put on. I love this setting brush. I just ordered another one um, because I always like to have one clean. The setting brush from Real Techniques is one of my favorite brushes. This eyes decided to start watering but never mind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little picture so you can see what that looks like. Now it's probably going to make me look a little bit matte and flat at the moment because I've just put it on but in about half an hour even with the setting powder on that will allow the creams to come through and it will look better and less matte and flat after the cream products have a chance to kind of seep through. Let's take this picture and I'll be right back. I'm going to put these comparison videos on the uh, Instagram because all these pictures on my editing tool, for some reason, they keep coming out making me look like the Tin Man out of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> okay, I'm going to quickly apply this because uh, my battery's running out. Um, I'm going to apply this, do another photograph and then charge up uh, my camera so that I can tell you a bit more about this product. Okay, but I'm going to just stick the brush inside this little recess, which I will tell you about. And tap it off. And then... I'm going to do two photographs. I'm going to do one just after applying and then I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray and then do another one so that you've got, you've got to see three photographs for comparison. 
but it's designed to give you that sort of radiant glow. Right, I'll take a photograph. Okay, now I'm going to spray some airbrush flawless setting spray. Okay, so um, my eyes were watering a bit there, so I had to retouch my concealer a bit. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a bit more about this product here with a sticker on that won't come off. Um, okay, so this is the HD Skin Twist and Night. Now, this was the finishing powder that I used. So that is different to the setting powder. So the setting powder will set your foundation in place. But this finishing powder is going to give you that little glow. And hopefully you will have seen the difference. Although the pictures on my videos are not great. Better if you go over and have a look on Instagram. So I'll post those later. Okay, now what you get in the Makeup Forever is called Twist and Light. Is you get these different colour correcting shades. So it's very much like... The other colour correcting one that I got a while back, I'm going to post you the name underneath because I can't remember the brand, but I've got it here somewhere to show you. Um, I'm going to just put a picture up in the corner so you'll see it. But this one said that it leaves you with that kind of nice glow. So it's not just a colour corrector, but it leaves you with a nice glow. Now, I'm just looking to see this is all in French where it did scar where Here it goes. So it says, a co-created with our worldwide collective of makeup artists, discover HD skin twist and light loose powder, a makeup forever skin enhancing innovation, an ultra, a fine perfecting texture with no powdery or glittery effect. The perfect combination of three shades to unify, correct and revive the complexion. So in this one for tan, it's got peach, it's then got a beige and then it's got a light. But obviously there are different shades, so it will depend on your skin tone. I find the one with the peach in really helps me and I need that kind of colour uh, for my pigmentation. But they do come in um, a number of shades. So do go and check out which shade you'll be. Now the way that this works is if you look, it's got this little trough in the middle. And when you twist it, you sort of twist it round and then tap it. And as you can see, when you tap it, it it all arrives in the center and then you can get your brush. Now this was slightly too big to get in there, but I'm just gonna do one hand so that you can see um, the difference. So let me just show you both of my hands right now. And I'm gonna just do this hand hopefully this will show up on camera so it just gives that nice blurring effect and it just color corrects so let me just see if this shows up on camera so that's the skin that i've done and that's the one i haven't i think it does it's sort of brightening and it color corrects as well takes down some of that blue from my veins bluey green and just basically unifies the complexion. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it does actually give a glow as well. What I'm gonna do is spray this with some setting spray, just to show you a little bit more. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, now I've let that setting spray dry down, but I think you can see now, it just gives you that nice glow when you turn your skin, as opposed to that kind of matte look that I've got there. Okay, so that is the powder. And I really wanted to try out those two powders with the um, with the Makeup Forever foundation underneath. Now, just for comparison, I'm just going to show you what the other um, setting powder looks like on my other hand. So I'll just tip some of that on there. As I said, this is meant to go underneath the other one. And that's the colour, by the way, that I've got in Tandore. Is it Tandore? 
Let me just check the colour again. Beige Doré, number four. Okay, and I'm going to swirl that on this hand so that you can see the different finishes. And again, I will spray it with setting spray in a second. So that is how it, you can see it's done a little bit of colour correcting already, but it's going to give you more of a matte finish, but unless you spray it. Now let me spray it, let it dry and I'll come back, but it won't give you the same kind of light reflection. It shouldn't do unless the setting spray's done that, but let's compare it. Okay, so You'll see there's a slight bit of a uh, shine to the skin because of the setting spray. But I think if you look at this, I'm hoping the camera picks this up. I think it does. You can see that this finishing powder actually gives you, it gives you more colour correction. Whereas this is just purely going to set your foundation. And this one is just going to give you that. I think the peach, you can see, takes the kind of yellow off my skin a little bit and just, it just hides the veins in my hand. I hope you can see that. So, of course, then the idea is that over your setting, setting powder, you put your finishing powder. So, anyway, that is, that always happens, by the way, because um, I put some, foundation on my eyelids um that are the that's the two powders i hope this has been helpful for you but if you've got any questions do let me know now i was going to do as i said earlier i was going to do um a carla cosmetics um pigment and and i'm gonna do a lot throughout the week but charlotte tilbury has just re-released her glowgasm palette and I have got it because I bought it when it originally came out. So stay tuned. I will get this video out and then I will upload the Glowgasm palette afterwards. I'm going to do some swatches to remind you and I'm going to do a little look. And actually, I haven't used this palette for so long, so it will be really useful to remind me. So um, do come back to my channel um, very shortly after this one gets uploaded and I'll be showing you um, that palette. All right, take care and see you all soon. Love you all. Mwah! I'm also going to put these photographs up in my community posts and on Instagram because, as I've said before, um, when you put photographs in these videos, for some reason it changes it, makes it look more shiny. So it's not really representative of how it really looks. So do check out Instagram and my community posts on YouTube. Thanks for watching.